Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I've got another My Dad SketchUp lesson. Today we're going to make a print in place squeezable bug. So let's get cracking. All right, step one is to go to My Dad SketchUp, the app. There will be a link in the description if you've never been there. If you have been there, make sure you sign in with Google. The first step is to create new and make sure you choose millimeters. Watch your neighbors. Make sure they choose millimeters as well. When you get in, delete the person that's there and let's immediately save it. Choose the SketchUp folder and let's name it Bug That Bites. Because that's the cool thing about this is when we're done, when you squish it, the little jaws will open up. We're going to start with the rectangle tool. Remember, it is a click and release. So click the button, choose the rectangle, move to the origin. Once again, click let go. And then I want you to type the numbers 40, 30, and press enter. Remember, you just type those in space. You don't have to click anywhere to type them. In order to see it, let's zoom in with the sweet zoom to extents. It takes us right to the shape. And we're going to switch to an awesome tool called the two-point arc tool. Once again, click and release. Click the left edge. Click the right edge. We're going to stretch that out until it says 23. The nice thing about that is it connects right with those edges, so it's just like we want. The letter F is an awesome tool called the offset. When you click F, you can then click the middle, once again letting go, adjusting, and then we want to type the number 4 for the size of the offset. This is going to give our bug its body. If you don't want to use this shortcut, you can also click and find the offset tool here. Right now we're going to switch to the line tool. I'm going to use the letter L to switch to it. We don't want the middle one, we want the run in front of the middle one. And then we want to sweep down so we're almost to the front edge of the shape. We're going to go from that corner back and we want to keep it parallel so if we run close to that shape you'll see it turns pink when it's closest to parallel. Then we're going to use the eraser tool which is the letter E to get rid of all of those little lines that are outside of it. It does take a few clicks but once you practice you get pretty good at it. And it's worth it in the end because this little bug is pretty awesome. We're going to subtract a little bit back here, once again using the line tool. We want room for it to bend, so we're just cutting approximately the same angle and using a race to clean it up. Let's return to that Swede rectangle tool. Make sure we've got the back corner, and we want to stretch this out. To match the other side, we simply move this up and over a little bit and then type the numbers 20, 4, and press Enter. It'll look just like that. Grab your eraser tool and get rid of the little pieces that were on the inside of the shape. Real quickly, let's make our awesome little teeth. We need a box that is four comma three. So I'm gonna type four comma three and press enter. And then we're gonna use the line tool. Once again, I'm gonna use the sweet shortcut. And I'm gonna just make a tooth just like that and erase the edges. E is for erase and boom we've got a nifty little tooth. I'm gonna click the space bar and click it twice to select it. If you hit M for move, you can then click the corner and move it right to the edge. I'm gonna do that M again and click this corner, but this time I'm gonna tap control, so I'm moving a copy. I'm gonna set it up here for a moment and grab this corner so I can put the copy right beside it. Once again, I'm going to click that corner, tap control so I'm moving the copy, and I'm going to zoom in and set it exactly by the other one. I'm going to do the M, click that corner again, tap control, and move it to the other side. All right, let's use E for erase, and let's get rid of those lines we don't need. Let's use that same style of trick to add the teeth above. Hold down shift and click the V, that would be the upside down tooth. M for move, grab that corner, but tap control so it's a copy and drop it in right above our old teeth. 
Once again, we're going to make another one. So we're going to go to this corner. There's my M for move. There's my copy. And just move it to the other side and connect it. Same trick. Click. Tap control for copy. Click that corner again. Tap control for copy and connect it right there. The front of our bug's head is an awesome thing with this curve. Click the back of it, click the front of it, and it makes an arc all the way up. Move to where it's going to be a straight line, and then use your line tool to connect them together. You have just made the frame of our awesome bug. All right, we need three of these, so make sure you have your select tool. Grab the entire shape, hit M for move, and then grab that back corner. And remember, when you tap control, you are in copy mode. I'm going to grab that corner again under move, tap control, so I'm making a copy. And I'm going to put my third one out in front, so there's a gap between them. I'm going to switch to the circle tool, and I'm going to quickly move to the first one. I'm going to add an eyeball, space bar, and then delete that hole so that we've got a spot for an eye. I need to make this one so it has no connector. That allows us to have a bendable shape. To do it, just switch to the line tool, which is the letter L, and then connect those two parts, E for erase, and boom, the middle section is complete. The last section's over here, and once again is with the line tool. Connect those same two we did a moment ago. Erase them, just like we did a moment ago. But this one does need to connect to the head. So with the line tool, go from the bottom, and just connect up near that bottom edge. Hit escape to cancel out that mode. And then see how this is pink? That means it's the same distance across. So it's perpendicular. Try and get as close as you can and then erase those two lines as well. So now all of our parts are solid. Hit the space bar, then switch to the push-pull tool. This needs to be three millimeters high. Notice I lift it crazy high. Type three and press enter. These also need to be three millimeters high. This time I'm gonna touch one of the other shapes and it goes to the exact height as our previous shape. This one needs to be four, so I'm gonna press four. And this one also needs to be four, because it's going to be thicker. I'm going to use the pan tool so that I'm looking at it from the middle. Switch to the select tool, and I want to group each section. Right-click, make group. Make sure I'm only selecting that. Right-click, make group. And lastly, make sure I've got the last chunk as well. Right-click, make group. If you need to adjust, remember you've got your O for orbit. You can get that in the exact right position so you can see your sweet bug. Now we need to assemble our bug. We are going to assemble it with the move command. I'm going to first orbit so that I can see it from the side because we stack these. And then we need to put them in a special order. M is our move command. Spacebar is how we select. When we do move, grab the bottom corner and then simply stack it on the next piece. Space bar, select, M, grab that bottom corner, and stack. We need another one on top of this. So space bar, select the piece you want. M, start moving it, tap control so you're in copy mode, and stack it right on the top of the other one. Space bar to get that bottom edge. M for move, grab the bottom copy mode straight up and select I'm gonna switch to O for orbit and if we take a look at this you can see there is now a gap between that head and the jaw so that when it's done printing we'll actually be able to squish it and it'll move to save it for 3d printing first let's make sure we hit save so we don't lose our cool project and when it has completed saving, click the download folder and you need to export it as an STL. If you're in my classroom, you can export this for 3D printing by hitting the folder, choosing export, and choosing STL. We always put it in the STL folder and you need to put your initials after it. I'm going to do MDH and I'm going to put a 2 because I've printed more than one of these. 
Alrighty friends, so when you're done, you will have a 3D printed part that when you press the belly, it actually opens the jaws, something like this one. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.